you can just do a 10 frame punish. You know? Oh, did that just crush? <laughs> Hello everyone on YouTube. This is Gil, and what you're about to watch is a Zafina defense video. It's not exhaustive of her entire move list, but it does cover many of her commonly used moves and will teach you how to properly defend against them. The video was recorded live on Twitch, uh, but I made sure that I used the power of editing to make it as concise as possible. And speaking about conciseness, uh, there are timestamps down below in the description so you can kind of pinpoint what you want to watch the most. Uh, but of course, I encourage you to watch the whole video in sequence so you get the, uh, the most uh, context out of everything. Besides that, I let me know in the comments uh, what sort of improvements I can make to this type of format. And uh, besides that, I would love to make uh, streaming, content creation, competing a larger part of my day to day. Uh, and that only can happen with your guys' support. So if you enjoyed today's video or any video on my channel, uh, just consider subscribing, pressing the like button. Uh, the YouTube algorithm really likes that. So besides that, thank you very much, everyone. And I'll see you next time. I'm into the library, but it's probably gonna take at least till the end of the week. It's pun- Oh, this one! Oh, yeah, this- this is bullshit. This is fucking bullshit. This is her down for one stream. So, the main thing to know with Zafina- so her, her down for one is- is easily one of her best things in- in the string. See? I step to the left. Step to the right. It's hard to step away from. Yeah, it's pretty good. So, I know you can side. If you want to avoid this, it's sidewalk left. But obviously, sidewalking opens you up to more shit. But you know. Let's say you just sidewalked it. You're not done yet, boy. You're not done yet, because it has... many follow-ups for some reason. The high follow-up can... Yeah, cannot be delayed. Okay, see? I'm waiting with pressing the high follow-up. She has to dial it in. So that, that she has to 100%, you know. She either has to use it as a punish or as a big read, the high. The third hit is not guaranteed. Only uncounted is the third hit guaranteed. So if you sidewalk left, duck, you're only going to get hit. I think we're going to check that. You're only going to get hit by the second mid, mid, which isn't that bad. It really doesn't. This, only the second mid doesn't deal a lot of damage and doesn't wall splat. And then you can stand up for the third mid. But of course, she doesn't have to. So... The frame data tells me that the high comes out at 19 frames. She can't alter the timing of the high. She can't alter the timing of the second mid as well. Second mid comes out at 15 frames. So, theoretically, that is fuzzyable. You sidestep left, stay blocking, don't crouch, and, I mean, sidewalk left, and then, like, with the slightest delay, you then duck. But you know, that that's that takes so much mental fortitude to just only pay attention to that shit, man. You know, it, it's uh, it's super tough. Uh, but it's kind of like textbook what should happen. And each mid, the second and third mid, they're all minus 13. They're all minus... What? That was minus 12. <laughs> so I guess sometimes... Sometimes... How you block it, if you block it pretty late, I guess. Oh, that's kind of fucked up. I didn't know that. Yeah, it's actually pretty consistently minus 12. That's actually pretty fucked up. This is tough. Oh, man. So... <laughs> it's actually pretty consistently minus 12. That's so fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just throw everything together. You'll have to make some reads with it, you know, with their tendencies and stuff. Here we go. 
Get fucked. I don't know his 13 frame punish. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. It looks like I can entirely sidewalk the mid high. Okay. What if I just keep sidewalking? Can I avoid the mid mid? Ooh. Obviously. Sidewalking for that much. Sidewalking for that much opens you up to a lot of things. And at the wall, depending what wall position, might not even be able to sidewalk left. I guess this gets used quite a bit. Why is that steppable? Yikes. Can I sidewalk it? Yikes. Yikes. Ah. Uh. Okay. It's a sidestep right for this. So we already have two mids, Mecha Shiva. Two good mids of hers. Or you have to move the opposite direction. Let's see if she does uh, more of the string. Okay, at least the rest of that doesn't read well. Kind of. Um, let's see if she does the whole string. This is rare. Oh damn, Mekashiva, are you feeling bloodthirsty today? Are you feeling bloodthirsty today? I hope so. Thank you, man. It's rare for Zafina players. Unless if they're entirely clowning on you. <laughs> it's rare for Zafina players to go for the um, last hit of this, the final kick. Because I don't know if you know Mecha Shiva. Um, you can always, after she does the two hits, that, 1 plus 2, 4, 1 plus 2, 4, there. You can always, before the third 4 comes out, you can interrupt with 11 frames, I believe. At least 10 frames. Yeah. AKA, you can, you can make the read if she's going to contain the string, can do a 10 frame counter hit move. Or if you think she won't contain the string, can just do a 10 frame punish. You know? Oh, did I just crush? <laughs> Again, theoretically, uh, it looks like Shaheen, he's a tall man, so maybe his, uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I need to, I need to check this. Okay, so we're just gonna do that string. Okay. There we go. Can he just do one, two in between? Okay, yeah. Yeah, it might be a Shaheen, pretty, relatively big Shaheen thing. Yeah, Hayachi can just always. Yeah, so I think what happened with Shaheen is... Yeah, I've not heard of that crushing before. Obviously, hitboxes are a thing, and I guess just Shaheen's. He can fit a 12 frame in between. And 13, fra 13 frames you, you trade, and she gets a full combo potentially. So, don't go more than 13 frames. I just want to see... Is a 12 framer always a punish? Like, is this just minus 12, the last two hits? The last hit? It's minus 10, okay. Okay, so... You see this, if she doesn't finish the string... 
Hence, you want to option select with a 10 framer, because you will always interrupt or you will always punish. Uh, it's a 12 frame gap if she goes for the other for the last hit. Or maybe I can put this on the YouTube. Minus eight. There's no follow-ups. She's pretty close to you. So you should be able to take your turn pretty decently after that. Uh, she has another homing move, which I was first in love with because the counter hit on it. The counter is huge. You eat an 80 damage combo. Check this. Let's see, let's do something super greedy. I don't know. <laughs> four, four, two. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's a high. Anyways, if you get counter hit by that, um, you eat a huge amount of damage, but it's a high. It really doesn't have that much range. Oh! Let's see how long it whiffs for. That was a pretty long whiff. Yeah. Yeah, it takes forever to whiff. Oh, uh, yeah. Forward, forward, three plus four. Bullshit. Forward, forward, three plus four is bullshit. Yeah. But I believe it's awkward to punish. I believe she can go into stance off of it. Yeah. She Let's see what happens when she goes into stance. And stance is still minus 11. Oh my god. Oh my god. If it was like minus 13, like this. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So you need to have a mid 12 frame punish. It's minus 12. It's minus 12. So Heihachi's lucky, but having a mid starting 12 frame punish is pretty rare. Count hit launcher. This is minus f chat. When Zafina does this flow chart, right there. Hold on. She does that flow chart. This shit is minus 14. This shit is minus 14. It's a common flow chart. Very few people punish this. But then things can get potentially more fucked up because she can do this. But this is rare as well because she does not get a uh, combo. Let's see. I believe she doesn't get a combo. Oh. <laughs> ah, she still gets a full combo. Uh, we got a bit distracted. There were a couple other things we were trying to answer. Sorry, I just went into this. Uh, we're still gonna continue. Still gonna continue forward forward three plus four. Uh, seeing how steppable it is. I know it's really obnoxious. And also the thing is, Safina is just a character that's so fundamentally solid even without her stances. And then you add stances on top of that and things can get really tricky. Most of the time, guys, if she goes for this flow chart, which is super common because it's powerful, whoops. She, uh, this down three into stance and then that. That's usually what they always stop at because the combo is better because it doesn't screw yet. And that is minus 14. And a lot of Zafina players are not used to get it punished after this, so. You know. And then after you punish that once, then if they pay attention, they might contain the string and then you can kind of like gauge player tendencies and stuff. Uh, let's check forward forward three plus four and we'll, we'll have her go into stance. So you want to have a 12 frame mid to consistently punish that. Or else just take your frame uh, plus frames. Oh, that wasn't, that didn't even. Okay, yeah, I was just too late, I guess. Oh, man. Oh, man. So, close by. 
close by it's minus 12, but the further you are, it can actually turn into minus 11 or minus 10. Oh my god, but then, you know. So, I guess it's up to you to pay attention. It takes a lot of, like, mental resources to defend against her properly. Punish her properly. Because, you know, up close, boom. Minus, tr minus 12. Far away. Well, she, she whiffed like a scrub. You can't just dial your 12 framer. Yeah, that was minus 10 right there. And then if you go for jabs... At least take anything she got out of it. Yep, exactly. Very good point. Uh, for those on YouTube... Fuck, I'm gonna put this on YouTube. Um... You know, you can always just do a 12 frame where you will either punish her or it will just stop any of her follow-ups. Yeah, and let's check how steppable it is, okay? Yeah, it just has this lingering hitbox. <laughs> Stand up! Okay. That's pretty good. I know it's coming in his heart. <laughs> she a TikTok hoe. It looks like maybe left is the way. I think left is the way. You don't even have to sidewalk left. Maybe. Different ranges. Jesus. Right there. I got hit by one, blocked the second, and then she was minus 18, but you know. If, you, if you're gonna put half that awareness. So, it's it's just tough, man. But I think, you know, with just like, basic blocking of that, just always go for a 12-framer. Um, <laughs> so just never fight Tofita. Yeah. <laughs> You know, and then if you block it at an angle, the situation becomes a lot more ambiguous. But I'll leave it up to you guys at home to really delve into that. Um, I guess let's look into her main lows. She doesn't have a generic down four, by the way, chat. Uh, and I'm a guy that thinks generic down fours are really fucking good and not talked about enough. I guess we'll start with this. This is like kind of like the more simple low but she has this of course which a lot of people have a very strong aversion of but this is just like a basic poke it also hits grounded which is pretty important about it for her oki um let's see she can do two things with this she can cancel her stance and she'll be zero on hit or she can stay in stance and be plus three on hit Let's see how steppable this is. Okay. Left. Oh! That wasn't a punish. Oh! What about side walking right? No, it looks like it will always just track to the defending player's right. I can't believe I did it a number of times. Okay, this is what this is going to devolve into. Gil just attempting electrics. Oh my god. I'm too good at this game. I'm too, too good at this game. You want to step that to the left. Okay. She can... What is it on block, by the way? I believe it's like minus 12 on block. It's uh, pretty safe. But I think it's fine. Minus 11. How minus is it when she goes into stance? It says minus 8. But she's punishable because her stance, she can't block immediately. But here's another pro strat for Zafina. Unless you're like Steve or Kazuya. You know, characters that have really good while standing punishment. Uh, if you read a low, go for a low parry. 
because let's go into this shit now. Down three. Um, you can make that minus thirteen. Yeah, if she goes into stance, it's minus thirteen. So, again, you know. Low parries, I think, are the name of the game against her. With few, with few exceptions, I recommend you to just low parry if you, if you're trying to OS or read a low. Let's see how. I think this is actually 360 no scope tracking. I'm just stepping to the left, I'm waiting with my step because this move is actually pretty slow as well, chat. 22 frames. Some crackheads uh, can uh, react to that, and I believe it. It's just human reaction time, apparently. It's like 20 frames or something, uh, a third of a second. But also, it has a super unique animation, you know? I, I'm not saying, like, it's easy, but I, I think some dudes can do it. And here's the fucked up thing. The two lows, man. One of them, you gotta step to the left, down back three, the low we looked at before this. And then this one, you have to step to the right. And then the punish is probably awkward, because she goes into stance, usually. There's no reason for Zafina not to go into stance. Because if she doesn't go into stance, it's minus 15 on block. And also, the stance gives her really powerful mix-ups, so it's like safer and more rewarding. Um, so... She will always, unless she fucks up, but like intentionally, Zafina players will always go into stance. I want to see what kind of punish you can get. Yeah, she's low to the ground, so you have to go for her mid. Oh my god! Hey man. I didn't say I would have the clean answers. Okay, okay, just do that. Just do that. What were two mids we checked? We checked out her down forward one. What was the other mid? Like down forward one, you want to sidestep left. Oh, this, you want to sidestep right. Yeah, I guess, you know, you just gotta have, have the read, you know? So if, if you're like, okay, Zafina's gonna go for one plus two. Okay, let's sum up. Zafina's gonna go one plus two. Or down three. If you think she's going to do one of those, you step to the right. If she goes for down forward one, or down back three, down forward one, you gotta. Uh, let, let's set that up. We can sidewalk left low parry because down three is 22 frames slow, so we can actually. actually. We can OS all of that. Obviously, she can throw a lot more at us, but these are some of her best mids and lows. I'm not too worried about punishing, yeah. I just wanna... There you go. Oh, wow. Whatever the continuation off of that is. There we go. Obviously, if she just goes for down forward one, you know, it's hard to punish that with this whole delay. So, you know, defending in Tekken is one of the hardest things. But here's some. Yeah, that's great. Things can change depending on how plus she is. Yeah. That's the basic idea. Defending against Zafina, guys. That's the basic idea. Uh, I